In today's video, I'm gonna explain how I made this arpeggiated synth sound. So as you can hear, I used a, a synthesizer in Ableton, the Drift synthesizer. And with this synthesizer, I created a very basic patch and I used the arpeggiator in Ableton to arpeggiate the chords that I play. So I play a C major seven and then D minor with a lower A as well. And the arpeggiator basically cycles through these chords playing one note at a time. That's all very standard. But the key to this sound is modulation. So I have seven different parameters that are modulated in the automation lanes in Ableton. And this allows me to create an interesting sound that evolves and that goes from the dreamy sound, how it starts to a bit more noisy and aggressive at the end of the eight bar loop. So let's go to Ableton and I'll show you how I created this sound. So here in Ableton, uh, as you can see on the first track, this is the sound you just heard. It's a drift synthesizer with a fairly basic patch, an arpeggiator, and then a little bit of delay, autopan, and reverb on the sound to create a bit more space. So when we turn off all the modulation, uh, basically, and also all the effects, what you hear is this. <laughs> So as you can hear, it's a much more static sound. Um, just to uh, to show you what I'm actually playing, as you can see, I'm we are in the key of C major, so it's a C major seven, and then a D minor with an the an A at the bottom as well. And this is a two bar loop. Then the next two bars are the same, except the chords are played an octave lower. And then for the last four bars, I muted the top note. So it's basically a C major and a D minor that's inverted. So the first thing that happens is I had the LFO of the drift synthesizer modulating the low pass frequency. It sounds like this. And you can already hear that there's a little bit more movement in the sound, that the filter closes a little bit. And this is the only modulation that happens in the synthesizer. The rest happens in these seven different lanes. So let's start with the arpeggiator. What I've done is I can re-enable now the modulation I had. As you can see here on the top line, or here at the bottom, is that the first half is an arpeggiator with a 1 16th speed, and then it goes to a 1 8th speed. So let me play that from here. So by changing the arpeggiator speed, you start with a fast arpeggiated sound and then in the second half it slows down. But because there's also a delay on later, you still get a full sound. The second thing that is modulated is also from the arpeggiator and that's the steps. So if I re-enable this, you can see in this modulation lane that uh, the steps will, uh, means the amount of octave the arpeggiator goes in. So it starts with one, then it goes to two and it goes back to one. So that's play that. Then moving on to the next thing that was modulated and that's actually from the drift synthesizer itself and it's the attack of the ADSR envelope. So let's enable that again. So it's here, the first modulation lane. And that basically means that it goes from a long attack to a short attack. And then here in the second part, there's also a bit of uh, the attack increases a little bit. And this attack, modulating this attack, makes sure that in the beginning, you want to have that kind of dreamy sound. So there's like a slow, fade in basically of the sound and then it gets more snappy in the third and fourth bar of the loop and then here in bar five there's also a bit of modulation 
And together with that, I also have uh, some modulation on the, or automation on the sustain of the ADSR envelope. And that's basically only towards the end, the sustain goes up. So the sustain is zero throughout most of the piece. And then by bar seven, it starts increasing. So let's play that second part. So basically the notes get longer towards the end. There's two more things that are left in the drift synthesizer that are also modulated. So let's go to that now. The first one being oscillator two, the actual waveform is being modulated. So if we enable that, uh, that's this, this line here. So it is a sine wave for most of the part, but towards the end, you see there's this stepping and it goes from sine to a saturated wave to a saw to a rectangle back to a sign. So that creates that little bit of aggressive flavor towards the end of the loop. Uh, so you start very dreamy and then you end up with this kind of more raw uh, waveform. And then the last thing that was automated in the drift synthesizer, that is the uh, level of the noise. So there's oscillator one, oscillator two, but then there's the noise so if we re-enable this, uh, it's here, this line. So the noise is at minus 18, and then for the second part, it goes up to minus eight. So let me play the entire thing now. So it becomes more noisy now. And also because the sustain increases, the noise is more audible. So that's all the parameters of the drift synthesizer and the arpeggiator that have some modulation on it. Then uh, let's go to the effect. So there's one more parameter that is modulated and that is the delay filter frequency. So first with just the delay, it sounds like this. So the delay really fills up the little spaces in between. And since the filter is enabled, the filter frequency also changes. So if I re-enable this, you can see that the filter frequency here is 3.77 kilohertz, but then it goes down, which means that the sound becomes darker. And also when the sustain goes up and it, the waveform changes, it becomes a bit more aggressive and then the delay sound becomes yeah, darker. So let me play that. So now it changes. So this is almost the sound, uh, the final sound. The only two things uh, are left now is to effect. So when I enable the auto pen, that's just making the sound go a bit from left to right. And then there's a bit of reverb uh, on the entire thing. This is then the patch with all the modulation. So it has seven modulation lanes or automation lanes. And I'm also using the LFO from the drift to modulate the uh, cutoff frequency. So yeah, I can listen to this eight bar loop forever and ever because there's so much going on and it goes from dreamy to a bit more noisy and aggressive. So I think it's a very interesting starting point for a track. So what I would do is just um, yeah build a track around this or export this as an eight bar loop and use it, uh, add it to my library of sounds. Uh, the point of this video is just to show you that with one simple synth patch and enough modulation, you can create a lot of interest in the sound that otherwise is quite basic you don't need a lot of like special tools for this it's just uh, whatever the synth you're using in this case i'm using drift um, with an arpeggiator and a delay and modulating the right parameters you can create a lot of 
interest and this is just one sound so if you add a few layers of more sort of ambient sounds underneath more textual sounds you basically have a a, a soundscape let me know how you create interest in synth sounds with arpeggiators and modulation as always keep making music thanks for watching and see you in the next one